to say there's no big project this week and whether this project makes it to the channel is another matter. I have no idea. I'm trialling something new out for um, an idea that I have for a bigger piece of furniture. So I thought I'd start small and see where it takes me. And well, if it doesn't work out, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to bring it anyway and say this was a disaster, but it might not be. Fingers crossed. I'm working with IOD paint inlays again you know that they're just about my favorite i just love the fact that they're a little bit risky you know risk it for a biscuit and that's what's happening today so what i'm doing I'll, I'll explain what i'm doing and hopefully if it turns out good you will see this on wednesday night um so i have got a board of wood and it was really not very nice it was from the attic it was quite stained and old and not not looking too good um, so I've stained it. I've used chalk paint as a stain to still reveal the grain through the wood because this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to apply the inlays to a wooden surface, um, which I've done. I've, applied, I've done my stain and I'm happy with the colour and now I'm applying the inlays with lacquer, which you, of course you can do. You've seen me do it before, but I haven't done in wood stain with chalk paint and then gone over the top it could end up all blotchy I have no idea it might not even um, they might not even transfer I'm just at that point where the paper is starting to go opaque again which is a good indication with lacquer of a time to start peeling and removing the paint inlays to leave behind the paint on the surface so wish me luck with this. Happy to sit at your feet, <laughs> Texas, hey. Um, hello, it's lovely to see you all. Um, I've just been on my Facebook to do a live just to say the same sort of things that I'm saying to you. One of the things that somebody mentioned, sorry that I wouldn't be in uh, Austin, Tex Texas with Annie and the big pain. And yes, we're all really, really um, saddened that that's not gonna happen. Um, somebody, you know, somebody mentioned it, so I've got to kind of just say, it, yeah, it's not happening. Many of you will know by now. Um, lots of technical issues there, unfortunately, but they are working on looking at bringing it somewhere else. So as soon as they can, so it is a shame. But yes, I will be heading to America, I think, in February. Not fully confirmed that that's another thing that's with an Iceland stockist, so um, I'll be glad to see anybody in uh, America in February if that comes up. We, you know, at the moment it's quite a while to February, and I hopefully will be there. But before um, I mention any of the, still a an event that me and Annie will be at in the UK. That is the Furniture Painters Academy Conference, PBA for. There are still day tickets available for the PBA. I know they've sold the weekend tickets where you stay over, but there's still plenty. Well, I say plenty. I think there's about 18 left and I think they'll be snapped up pretty quick. So if you're interested in the UK or willing to travel to um, the UK for PBA, head over to their website or their Instagram channel or their Facebook page and you will find the details there. I suppose I could link it in somewhere into this afterwards so you can find the details. If you fancy coming to see that, there's gonna be lots of great people. Brandy's coming over, Kasia, um, um, General Finishes, Fusion, who else? Um, Would You Bend, a Posh Chalk, Solly Joe will be there. Um, some amazing people and information to be had at that event. Um, I am doing something slightly different on stage. I'm talking about staging, which is something you all know that I love. And I did this at the Flourish convention with the IOD girls, with the stockist, and they, they were all very blown away with what I had to say. So I thought it's worth bringing that back and doing it again, the way that I did it at their event. So I'm gonna do that again. Um, so, and I will be painting in a side room. And of course, I'll be jumping from 
um, Annie's stall and uh, Posh Chalk and Would You Ben, I'll be floating around there. So if you fancy coming, go and search the tickets out, um, find out what's available and it would be great if you could come. Um, if not, don't worry, I'm doing stuff here. Back to the project, let me show you the underside because you can see the staining of the wood. Now this was pine, there is, you can't really see it there, it's not been lacquered yet on the underside so the grain should slightly come back. There's a little bit of grain texture on the front but I'm just hoping that these um, lovely, you can see it's upside down for you guys, but these lovely paint inlays transfer in a little while and that's why I'm on here because I thought I'd kill some time chatting to you guys to say watch out for Wednesday's tutorial. If I get this edited, I am two days behind. I normally start a project on Sunday and I've just had a couple of weeks where I just haven't felt, not creative, I'm always quite creative, but just haven't felt like it. I felt a bit tired and I think it's emotional stuff that's happened. Um, it's about, um, but this morning I thought get in there, do something, Thing. This is what I'm doing. I'm teaching myself whether this will work or not and you're coming on that journey with me whether it works or not as well and it may help for a larger project in the future because I've got this thing about having wood and paint inlay over the top. Um, it has been done, other people have done it I'm pretty sure but with a thin layer of chalk paint stain it, I don't think that has been done so um, fingers crossed it will work out for me. Anyway, I'm not going to travel on any longer. It's nice to see so many of you coming on at this time in the day for me to say hello. Um, I thank you for the support. The, the videos, I've not managed to get back an answer, probably because of the way I'm feeling. Lots of lovely questions that I've been asked and, and I normally try to be on it, especially technical questions. I like to answer them. Um, but I know the love and support that you give me on the channel, it, it's not forgotten about. I, I do read most of everything that comes through and I'm really, truly grateful for the support and the fact that you guys, you know, are, are here regularly, it really helps. It, it's the only, well, one of the ways that I earn my living from this, this um, industry is the um, tutorials that I make, which you know, that basically, the thumbs up, the likes, the comments, all of that helps put back into me earning a living. Of course, I sell my projects at the end of um, when they're complete, but I sell them really cheap. I'm terrible, I'm really, you know, Mr. M, I let them go because I'm doing so many and I can't, I haven't got the storage to keep on um, backing up. It's all full up that side. So we let them go locally cheap, I should really, kind of go on some of those great selling platforms but I don't it's more about the um, the training for me and obviously the traveling gets in the way of everything anyway anyhow I'm going to tune out because I can feel these are going as you can see they're going slightly opaque and they're feeling like they're just about drying IOD paint inlays with lacquer need to come off a little bit sooner than they would in chalk paint you can leave them for 24 hours the chalk paint but with lacquer they do need to come off as soon as you get that sort of dry feeling to the top surface of the um, painting legs and I'm just about there they're almost there I have a little visitor come and say hello come on come and say hello she, she might come on the table and say hello she's she's looking a bit um, worn I think well worn Lily come on where are you come here come on she's down there she'll come she'll come up in her own time she's got big knots in a fair because she doesn't like being groomed she hates having she's got a, a graze on her nose from being hit by the car I don't, if none of you realized the other week she got hit by a car which we thought she was a goner but she's completely fine um, one of her nine lives has, has gone come and say hello come on come and say hello I'm going to show them your Paulina, there she is. So yeah, she's got these knots in her because in the summer she gets lots of excess fear but she doesn't like, although it's going to all come off on me. Come and say hello to the guys up here. Come on then. Oh, she's not going to say hello. But she's got a little scab on her nose from rolling off a car. I don't know how she survived it. She's so much mischief, it's untrue. Um, 
but we cannot keep her in. She's definitely an outside cat. She just loves being outside. As you know, she's in and out of my studio all of the time. Um, oh, Lily, I know. Oh, Lily, that's what we said. She is old as well. She's she's coming up 15 years old, So and she's sprightly as anything. She just keeps on... Really, she'll go up the ladder to my um, storage. Look, off she goes. Up, upstairs, she loves it up there because there's a load of stuff in there she can kind of crawl around in. Right, enough of Lily. I'm going to go because these are just about to the point where I'm happy to start removing them. Fingers crossed, guys, because if this is good, I will do it on a larger piece of furniture and um, I will put this together as some form of tutorial for uh, Wednesday night or Wednesday day if you're overseas. Um, Again, thank you so much for your love and support. It's always, I'm always grateful for it. It really means the world to me. Anyhow, I've got to reach over to say goodbye. Lots of love. I'll see you all soon.